All right. Well, I'm back. Where do I begin to explain my absence? I guess I suppose I better just jump straight into it. I think I've been MIA for about a good five or six months at the moment. I've still been playing RuneScape on and off. I've been playing a lot more casual with mining. Like, I've, I've been subbed to RuneScape the whole time, but I haven't uploaded a video. Some days I play for an hour, some days for a few hours. Most days I won't even sign on. My mining is a lot higher than in my last video. Feel free to check my high scores, but I won't say what level I am on this video until I catch up in some levels to video ratio uh, sort of thing. Like, I've probably got enough clips for maybe two or three more videos, but I think I'll just upload them a bit slower for me to not feel so pressured into uploading so much, but obviously upload them a lot more frequently than I have been. I have some ideas for videos. I want to do a lot more stuff for YouTube, but I think I'll leave that for another video where I just talk. Uh, so I've been working a lot more too. I went from casual, like 30 hours a week, to full-time probably doing 50, 60 hours a week currently. Um, so I'm working in a small family oriented cafe. I work a lot more mornings and have a lot later finishes. Uh, I'm missing YouTube a bit. I love answering your comments and questions and messages and all that jazz. I went through some of my old videos the other day and it made me miss it a bit more. I remember watching through my latest vid, the one I've just recently uploaded, um, and I said I should have MBN within a week and then I can start streaming. That was roughly six months ago and I'm still waiting for NBN. So hopefully it isn't too far away, but I'm pretty sick of waiting because I want to start streaming and get onto Twitch. I'm also super excited to finish mining when it finally does. Uh, I'm pretty close, but not close enough. I'm sort of lacking motivation to continue mining a bit, but I've sort of got a soldier on, I guess, hey. My plan is still to do thieving then crafting, but a new light has come to me when I do thieving. Because originally I thought I couldn't do Pyramid Plunder because you need to finish Gertrude's Cat to do Ictharian's Little Helper to gain access to Sephenium, I don't know how to say that. Uh, and Gertrude's, Gertrude's Cat gives cooking experience and I wasn't going to level cooking just yet. But hopefully, uh, or apparently somebody's told me that I can just buy a Pharaoh's Scepter Scepter uh, and uh, teleport straight to Pyramid Plunder. Hopefully this is true. I can't find anything that suggests otherwise, but I'm just hoping. So I guess I'll see after 99 mining when I actually try it and test it out. All right. Anyway, onto what you guys actually want to see. So there we have it. We have achieved every noob's dream. We are finally able to mine Runite Ore. This is going to make me bank loots. One ore is currently 12k each. So right now, since I'm quarter of the way in, let's do everything three more times. Oh, what's that, boys? First Runite Ore. Yeah. Alrighty. So here, at level 85, is my update of the ores and gems I've collected. So as you all should know by now, I have the full set of Prospector gear. I also have a gem bag and a coal bag. Um, so them 666 nuggets, they are what I'm collecting to purchase all the gem bags at the end. So I'm quarter of the way through, I've got 666, so I should end up with well over 2k. So that's going to be a lot of gems. So as you can see, all up here, currently hit level 85 mining, I've made, let's say... Oh, the middle of them two. So we'll go 18.2 mil. Which is pretty good. As I said, still quarter of the way. So that's going to jump up a lot. Especially now since I can mine Runite Ore. I've estimated about 80 mil. But, yeah, it's just an estimate. So let's see. Alright guys. I'll, I'll do an update at level 90 and 95. And of course 99. Alright, so we hit level 86. And in level 86, we hit that magical 30 million total experience. Which, I know isn't much, but agility, herbal, or mining, I mean, come on. The number after 86 is 87, so that came next. And in this level, we hit 4 million total mining experience. Hells yeah, level 88. And then we hit 89, which is one off level 90. I am so good at mining milestones. Here is when I missed 5 mil mining XP at level 89. 
playing around with the camera a bit there, sorry, but we just hit level 90. So at level 90, we also reached 30,000 coal ore and 1,500 gold nuggets. The grind is real. I think I said earlier that I'll have a bit over 2,000 nuggets when I hit 99, but at this rate, I will have almost 4K, I reckon, maybe even more. So here is the bank update at level 90. Just of ores and gems I've collected so far. This was taken when I first hit 90, so before I had the 30K coal and 1,500 gems. I got them right before I hit 91 from memory. So as you can see here, right as I hit 90, I had about roughly 35 to 36 million worth of ore and gems. So I had 27.8k of coal, 15k golden myth, 6,000 addy, and a teensy bit over 300 rune idol. Not a bad load for halfway to the way of 99. Anyway guys, I'm off from here. I'll definitely see you all later with a new vid of a mining progress, because I know it's so entertaining. There's a little surprise in it too. I hope you all like it as much as I do. Winky face.